What's up guys? This is Pedro Delfino here. I'm one of the software engineers working on the Nix browser and today I would like to show you how you can take notes in your Nix browser. Uh, thus I'm going to show you features related to the Nix annotations. But before showing you the feature itself, I would like to show the problem behind it, like the reason why we created this. Okay. And in order to show those problems, I'm actually going to show you decompose the main problem, the main reason in three smaller problems. So we all know the feeling. When you are surfing the web, most of the information around the web is trash, things that you don't care about discarding. But among those trash information, there are some gems. And as time flies by, you may try to keep those gems around, but they tend to get messy. It's really hard to do uh, information retrieval over this. And even if you find some gen, and for instance, you take a note about the URL, uh, it's not really so. Because sometimes, out of the blue, when you try to reach again the URL you noted, what you're going to find out is an error message. Because the web page is gone, right? So, in order to illustrate this situation, I'm going to show a real-life example. Recently, I was changing my operational system from Ubuntu to NixOS, and while I was doing this, there was a lot of documentation to read, m multiple relevant information to track and keep, and Nix annotations were quite handy. Uh, as a disclaimer, Nix has nothing to do with NixOS, these are just um, free open source projects with similar spellings, okay? So, let's go to the NixOS manual. I already have my Nix browser running, and in the second section, there is something about installing NixOS that I would like to take some notes. Uh, especially, uh, my situation is that I have a UEFI system, so I'd like to take a note about that. So I find the section that I would like to highlight, and I'm going to do the command annotate, highlighted text and I'm doing some note and saving it okay I'm also going to put some tags because these tags are going to make this easier to search later and yeah that's it okay so there was also a lifesaver command called NixOS Rebuild Switch that is very important during the installation process that I use all the time so I would like to take another note and annotate the highlighted text. Yeah, this command is really a lifesaver. And I'm going to use similar tags to the previous note. Okay, cool. Now I'd like to show you another command. This time I'm going to annotate the whole URL. I found out a GitHub repository in which the guy was showing how you could do like, uh, how you could edit your host files in NixOS, like create a white list of websites that you would not be able to access. So you can do the annotate current URL and also take some note about it. There is a little template and I'm also going to put some tags, this time the tags are going to be mostly similar but I'm going to put a new one, hosts, because this deals with host files and configuration file. Okay, cool. Now it's time to show you all these annotations. I can show the annotations just for the current URL, so if I'm in the NixOS manual, this is what I'm going to see two annotations relating to the manual. I can also show one annotation in particular, like I have this tree that I showed in this tutorial and one that was previously written about kicks. This is the command that I think it's, it's really helpful. Okay. Uh, now I can show all the annotations. So you have like a, a whole buffer, like a page, internal page showing all the information.
and if you use the tags like if I show annotation one annotation in particular I can use the tags to filter the information so guys wrapping up what we just saw uh, we can see how this feature solves the problem it's really easy to separate what is trash and what is a gem in terms of information that you face in the web it's also easy how to organize this because it's a library with tags so it's really easy to find the information and finally the user is in control all the information is local so there is not a risk that uh, you're going to lose this information because the websites change it you can keep things in your machine if you enjoyed this, maybe you would like to find out more about Nix. You can check out our official website. Uh, Nix is also a free open source project, so all source code is on GitHub. And the, the, below there will be some links with everything that I'm speaking about. We also have some applications like Demeter, which is a feed reader. All, everything's in Nix. All the applications are names of Greek gods, so you. <laughs> You get the pattern uh, if you enjoy this YouTube channel maybe you'd like to see your blog we have some technical writing going on and if you'd like to interact with other Nix hackers maybe you should check out our IRC channel and this course and we even have a shop like a store to sell t-shirts mugs stickers uh, finally I'd like to say thanks to flat icon because I have been using a lot of those icons they do a great work they have um, an amazing community of designers that's it guys thank you very much stay tuned and may the power of next be with you